Good morning. Happy New Year. What better way to spend the new year? I was telling in first service to have you a really good Christian workout and then come in and just worship, right? Just want to invite you guys just to join us and just worship our Savior today. I stand before
weeks ago, kind of regarding this song. If everything bows in his presence, why do we not take everything to his presence? So, you know, anything that is in you that needs to be made new, that needs to be strengthened or empowered, that needs restoration, anything, anything, the things that you need to celebrate, those are also things to take into his presence. So Kathy and Judy are over here on the side, and they'll be happy to um, help lead you into that place of his presence um, where he can make those things new, where, where you know, you can receive healing, where you can receive um, whatever it is you need or whatever it is that you need to celebrate with Him, go into His presence and take that thankfulness and that, and that gratitude to Him and take that into His presence. Think about the smile that would bring to, him, to His face. It's not always about our need because He knows them anyway, but sometimes it's about stepping into His presence, letting Him wrap His arms around you and tell you, you know what, I'm proud of you because He is, because you are His beloved. So step into His presence wrap his arms around you and just love you this morning. Yeah, let's just sing that together this morning. Let's sing here in your presence. Everything bows before you. Let's lift him up.
position. Yes, God, we are your children. God, we thank you that you have called us. God, you have declared great things over your children today. God, we rejoice. We rejoice in that, God. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, praise him again, church. Hallelujah. Thank you, worship team. Wow. Awesome, awesome. You can find your seat if you're able to as we just transition. Thank you, team, again. You guys are amazing for being here. Oh, good morning to everybody. Welcome to 2017. Wow, that's incredible to say or even think about, you know. Oh, we had such an incredible encounter yesterday evening with our prayer and prophetic service, and I know that God's just just ugh, downloading so many great things and so many people. Not just your leadership, but everybody. You know, God is just showing himself greater and greater and greater. And so I can't wait to see, um, yeah, who steps up to the plate and the challenge of what God is doing in your life. Amen. But welcome to Liberty Church International. We are so blessed that you are here today. Um, we're glad that you set this time aside on this first day of the year to come and just worship with, uh, you know, your family and just being here. But if this happens to be your first or second time to be in service, we would love to get to know you. And the way we can do that is if you'll take a minute to find in the chair backs, a communication card that looks like this. We just encourage you to fill it out. And in a moment, we'll have a short offering break. You can drop this card in any of our offering kiosks here at the front of the sanctuary, or you'll find some at the back as well. So um, please let us know that you were here. We would love to get connected with you. And let's say hello to all of our family that's watching via the internet today. Good morning to you as well. Hello, hello. So glad that we have our resources available there. I know that I heard um, individuals that didn't get to come to last night's service. Um, they were able to watch as well, and they were just encouraged and so glad that we have that resource available. So um, be sure and get the word out to people. If they're not able to be here health-wise or just out of town, um, have them log in on Sunday mornings. Good resource. Hey, as you came in this morning, you should have received a worship guide. There's a lot of things that are going on, so please check out the information and see how you can be involved. And again, um, let's just grow the family of God and, and do great things in this year to come. Um, let's welcome Caleb as he comes and um, takes us into our tithes and offerings moment. Welcome to you. Good morning. Love you. What's up, y'all? You like how I like a little little ghetto with little country? What's up, y'all? You like that? Oh, yeah, that I, I, I'm going to patent that. Anyways, um, tithe and offering time. Y'all ready? Okay. Sweet. Um, you know, like, uh, yeah. so like yesterday I, I um, went to Walmart and, um, you know, it's like <laughs> I was just talking to God about, like, what do you want to say today? Like, what's, what's your heart want to relay to your people? And, like, I, I went to Walmart for my wife, you know, and, Anybody go to Walmart yesterday at all? 
the, the, the lines were nuts. It was sort of insane. And it's like, you know, it's like that one verse says, greater love hath no man than to go to Walmart for his wife. <laughs> and it's like, <clears throat> you can put that on Facebook. That was, that was good. I just, that was Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's like, you should say this. That's, that's so funny. But <laughs> it's like, you know, I show my wife I love her by going to Walmart for her. Anyways, but, and so I was, I was in the parking lot, and I was just kind of like talking to God. You know, I was like, okay, what do you want to say? And he, he just dropped in my spirit right then and there. He said, uh, did you love well? Like, God, what do you have to say as we step out of 2016 and we step into 2017? What do you want, what do you want to say? And he said, did you love well? Now, that can be like a self-check for everybody. If you go to Walmart and you're walking out, it's like, did I love well? I just went to Walmart. Did I love well? Anyways, <laughs> okay. Don't act like you haven't been there, okay? Anyways, okay, whatever. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's like, I think that's one of the greatest questions we can ask ourselves. In you know, looking back at 2016 and looking into 2017, did I love well? And I can be honest with you, like, I know, like, as he dropped that in my spirit, like, you have to really, like, examine your heart and be like, okay, I know there were places in my heart that I did not love well. Like, if we're really real, we can be like, okay, I need to work on my love. And, you know, really it's like we have to understand that love is the foundation that everything is built upon. As, as believers, as uh, we as followers of Christ, like, love is the foundation for everything we do. N you know, for tithing, for serving, for just living, love is the foundation. And um, 1 Corinthians 13 uh, verse 2, I, this, this verse is, I love this verse. It's just so heavy, though. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. So it's like, to me, you know, that verse says, God's standard for significance in the kingdom is love. That is the standard of the kingdom for significance, love. And you can prophesy, you can have all sorts of revelation, you can have faith to heal the multitudes of people, but if you don't have love, this says you're nothing. I mean, when, you, when I read that verse, I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know. I, I'm just real with myself, you know? And I think as we, we need to ask ourselves, like, as we step into 2017, like, did I love well? And, and that become, like, a new, like, recalculating, a, a renewal of our heart to say, in 2017, I will love well. And this is more, like I said, this is more about tithing or, but it's just, across the board, like we re, like let us today, like this first day of the new year, say we will renew our heart, God, to love you and love you well and love others well. Let's stand to our feet. Let's go ahead and stand to your feet if you would. And I just want to, yeah, I just want to lead you like that, like today can be like a day that we just like say, okay, maybe there were some times like, you know, maybe Maybe during the election cycle, maybe I said some things. Maybe, I, you know, possibly I thought some things about people that I stepped out of love. Like maybe when I was in traffic, I got out of love. Maybe, like, to my boss, I got out of love. But today, like, like you get a do-over. You know, like, there's grace for that. You know what I mean? Like, there's grace that God's like, okay, today is your day to start, to start fresh. Today is your day to renew your love. And so, yeah, let's just make that proclamation to God today. I'm, let's just pray. It's like, God, we just, today we give you our heart, and today we just acknowledge that you are the source of love. And, and we just tap into you, Father. We tap into your heart. We tap into your heart for uh, 
the people beside us. We, we tap into, into your heart for the people outside of these walls, Father. We tap into your heart for the nations, Holy Father, that, that we can say, let, let us say 2017, we loved well. Yeah, God, we just, we reaffirm and we renew our hearts to love and to love well, Holy Father. Thank you, Father. We just, we recalculate. Yeah, it is a, we need to recalculate our hearts to love well, reconfigure. Holy Father, we just, yeah, uh, that this be a year that we just align our hearts with your heart. And that everything we do comes out of that. Everything we do will come out of that, Father. We love you, Lord. We, we give you honor, Father God, to give instruction and correction. We love you, Lord. Yeah, if you just would, just say that right now. Say, like, I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord. Yeah. I love you, Jesus. I love you, King Jesus. Yeah, God, we just bless you. We bless you, Lord. And I just bless these people. And I bless this new year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You can bring your tithes and offer to the front and the rear. And if you're giving online, you can click the little tab and get your tithes in the house today. And kids can be dismissed at this time. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Come on now, y'all got more sleep than the early crowd, so Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> that was a little bit better. Oh my goodness. Somebody asked me when he came into the first service, they said, How are you doing? I said, So far, so good. Right? It's kind of like the story I heard this one guy. He was praying and talking to God. He said, God, I have been so good, and I haven't, I haven't said anything bad about anybody, and I haven't done anything wrong, and, 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 and I haven't sinned, and I haven't messed the mark. And then he said, but God, I'm about to get out of bed, and I'm really going to need your help. <laughs> How many of you ever felt like that? Just so far, so good, right? Just I, I've, been all, I've, been, I've been good today, and so that, 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 that's good. Oh, man, we had a good time last night. You know, Proverbs uh, says the end of a thing is better than the beginning. And the principle behind that is, is this. How do you want to start something? Well, you end the way you want to begin something. And that's why the end is so significant. And so uh, we had a full house last night. We shared some prophetic words about this year, which I'm going to elaborate on some more this morning because I want everybody to be on the same page and moving in the same direction because unity is crucial as we move forward, right? And so we're going to be sharing some things this morning that I believe will be a blessing. I hope will be a blessing. I hope will be insightful. Before we do that, I need to make a short announcement. God has been blessing us and giving us many, many, many opportunities to uh, connect with and, and just get to know our international students from Southwestern. And, and Andy was telling me earlier there's, there's another student from Nigeria that's flying into Oklahoma City today. For some reason, the school can't make arrangements to pick him up, and so Andy was wanting me to announce and ask if there was anybody that's going to be in the city this evening or would like to help. Uh, provide transportation to the city uh, this evening around, Andy, you said around 6.30, something like that. And so, Andy, stand up, because you're a handsome dude. And this is, this is Andy. And so, if anybody in this service is willing or able to help maybe provide some transportation for this new student coming to Southwestern, will you please see Andy immediately after service today? Will you do that? Okay. God bless. All right. Well, lots of good things. Uh, how many's ready for a new year? Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh, I hope you understand something. We, we shared this last night that there's nothing magical about 2017. I, I know that sounds like I'm bursting your bubble, but, but I'm teaching you. You need to know that your life doesn't change when the calendar does. Your life changes when your mind does. There you go. And if you decide 
Church, listen to me. If you decide that 2017 is going to be better, it's going to be better. If you decide that 2017 is going to be fresher, it's going to be fresher. If it's going to be something different, it's going to be something different. You ain't going to get it by osmosis. You ain't going to get it by sleeping through the clock. You're going to get it when you decide I'm ready to get it. Hello? We ain't waiting on God. God's waiting on us to, to realize, to understand, to embrace uh, his promises and, and what he's already called us to do. And so if, uh, if it's going to happen, it's going to be a partnership between you and God. God's already done his part. Now he's just waiting. Somebody told me this. They said, God's a good checker player. How many of you ever played checkers? Yeah. God made a move. Now it's your turn. And he can't move until you do. And so take advantage. So why then, Pastor Scott, are we making a big deal about a new year? Because, because the beginning of a new year is a perfect time to make a decision, right? I mean, when you want to change something, when you want to make a resolution, when you really want to make a life change, don't you tie it to a date or a day. We're going to do this on the 1st, or we're going to do this on the 15th. Or Johnny and April were here. They've been married for a few years, and they wanted to get married on 7707 at 7. So I had to drive to Texas, where they're from. <laughs> where they're from on 7707 and marry them at 7 because they, they wanted those dates, right? And there's nothing magical about those dates, but they, they, they picked those. They liked those. They, they owned those dates. So whatever date you own, whatever, whatever number you decide to make a change on, that's when it becomes significant to you. We have a short video this morning.